Now we have the question of what's the net force on the block, given that the block has uh, some density. So uh, to get the net force, we want to draw a free body diagram. We have a buoyant force of 0.3 newtons, as we saw in the preceding. And uh, the block will also have the weight force. Now, what's the weight force? Well, if the density of the block is 3 grams per cubic centimeter, recalling uh, that the block has a volume 15 cubic centimeters. And I'll write that down here. Then uh, the mass of the block is going to be 90 grams, 3 grams per cubic centimeter. Uh, and it's not 15 cubic centimeters. That's the, uh, the area is 15 square centimeters. It's 30 cubic centimeters. Uh, the mass of the block then is 3 grams per cubic centimeter times 30 cubic centimeters, 90 grams, giving the block a weight of 0.9 newtons. So the weight is 0.9 newtons, and the net force then is the net uh, of the uh, weight force, which is upward, the weight which is downward, 0.6 newtons downward. If the block is released, it's going to sink because the net force is in the downward direction. Now, that net force is going to change. As soon as it starts sinking, there's going to be some uh, resistance, some drag force, some uh, fluid resistance. Uh, and the faster it moves, the greater that resistance. So it's going to reach a terminal velocity rather quickly. Uh, but that's not something we really need to worry that much about at this point. OK, now if the density is 0.7 grams per cubic centimeter, uh, then the diagram looks like this. You got 0.3 newtons up. You can verify that it's 0.21 newtons down. And uh, net force is uh, 0.09 newtons. And I didn't write downward. Uh, and it isn't downward. It's upward. Okay, because the upward force is greater than the downward force, this is going to rise. And if it has a little distance to develop its terminal velocity, it'll rise at some terminal velocity. Again, uh, where the drag force gives you that 0.09 newton force in the direction opposite motion. Okay. Now, another situation, you have uh, the mass supported by string over an Atwood situation with 0.2 newtons on this side, and it's in equilibrium. So what's the density of the object? Uh, well, first we do a free body diagram. Let's go ahead and draw the weight force here, a tension force upward, and a buoyant force upward. Now, those are the forces acting on the object. Okay, well, we know the buoyant force to be 0.3 newtons. This is in equilibrium, so the tension throughout this spring, assuming we have good pulleys, is 0.2 newtons throughout. So we have a tension of 0.2 newtons, which gives us a net upward force, a total upward force of 0.5 newtons, meaning that since this is an equilibrium position, uh, the, net, the total downward force has to be 0.5 newtons. The only downward force is the weight mass times the acceleration of gravity, and that's 0.5. Uh, that, that has to then equal the equal and opposite to the upward forces we have here. So we have a downward 0.5 newton force. Follows that the mass is 50 grams, and the density is 50 grams over 30 cubic centimeters, and those are straightforward calculations. <laughs>